Hello friends, my name is Theo and today in this exciting Mason Media tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at doing a quote Luma fade unquote transition. Now, this was suggested to me in a comment and I took a look at it and I said, well, that's pretty easy to do. So, you know, here we go. Transitions like this are things all the kids are doing. So let me show you what we've got set up. In our edit page, we've got the clip that we're going to transition to and the clip we're going to transition from just stacked right on top of each other. So we're going to be doing the effect inside this clip that we are coming from. So in our color page, we are going to add a new note and here I've just got a quick little grade going on. I've got primary correction and then a little bit of a let to just add some flavor and tie it all together and that same grade is applied to this clip behind it. So new note here and we're going to right click and do add alpha output. And we're going to drag this little triangle from our new node and we can even rename this node if we're feeling really cheeky. So Luma fade. Cool. So now we're going to scroll through somewhere and say, okay, hair flippy is where we're going to start our transition. So add a quick little keyframe in corrector three or enable keyframing, I should say, and then go over to our qualifier tab, twiddle our luminance value sum just so we can drop a keyframe in there. Then we're going to go ahead and say transition ends here, bring our low value all the way up. Whoop. And there you go. Then we're going to hop back in the middle and then add just a little bit of low soft in the middle to make it a little bit nicer. And it's just that simple. So we play through. Zoop. So that's pretty cool. I think. I think it's better than I thought it would. I'm normally not a fan of fancy transitions, but you know, if it's what all the kids are doing, those kids are getting work. So I'm going to have to start doing cool transitions too. So anyway, I hope you liked this tutorial. If you liked, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. No matter what, leave feelings down in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the Meester Media YouTube channel. If you want even more goodness, check out MeesterMedia.com slash products. We've got all sorts of LUTs and power grades. We've got this little LUT in the house LUTs pack. This particular one was tin tips. And we just added a little bit there to tie the image together some, give it a little more flavor. Also got power grades and light leaks. Light leaks are things kids use and the optical element stuff, which are great for motion graphics, especially because I just use them for a motion graphics thing. I think I mentioned that in another tutorial that I may or may not have recorded like two minutes ago. Also be sure to check out the links for the socials down in the description below. I've been trying to get better at Instagram because apparently Instagram is important. Once again, that's what all the kids are doing. So once again, I'm with you with Media. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>